Okay, Assalamualaikum dan very good morning to all. So, kita sambung lagi. Let's continue um, our topic our discussion today on Wheatstone Bridge. So, in summary, from our last uh, lecture, um, so from our last lecture that we know that for a balanced condition, for a balanced Wheatstone Bridge, there is no current through the galvanometer. Okay, that's the first point here. Okay, is that the galvanometer current should be zero. Okay, for balanced condition, and the potential, the potential difference across the galvanometer is zero, means that the voltage between B and D must equal to zero. All right, so there will be no deflection when when the galvanometer has no deflection, then the uh, the bridge you can say that is already in balanced condition. So with these two condition met, then the galvanometer pointer will rest at zero mid scale. On this scale. So, in summary, only at balanced condition, the relationship between all the resistors are simply this equation here. You can see that the products of the opposite uh, resistor, let's say in this case, is uh, between R1 and R4. When you multiply them together, is equal to R3 multiplied by R2. Okay. So, for example, if we assume R4 is the unknown resistor, then we can find the resistor. Uh, as follow, okay. Using just just you uh, uh, manipulate this formula here, All right? So let's take a look at uh, several example here. So uh, on the figure down here, we have a Wheatstone bridge with a certain value is twelve kilo ohm, fifteen kilo ohm, and thirty two kilo ohm, and there is an unknown resistor here that you want to find. So uh, the question here asks you to find what is the unknown resistor R X. And assuming that a null exists, a null condition exists, meaning that the Brickstone bridge is already balanced. Okay, so since the bridge is balanced, we can simply use this formula here. Okay, and then we can search for, uh, we can find Rx just by uh, putting R1 down here. Okay, and then we got a result here, 40 kilo ohm. Okay, it's very simple to use formula. Okay, but remember this only valid only for balanced condition. Okay, so there's another example here for the same wisdom bridge for different R value. Okay, so um, I guess you can go uh, go ahead and uh, understand. It's pretty much straightforward to understand. Okay, so I just skip through this one. Okay, this is another example, <coughs> different, a little bit different example. So this is a wisdom bridge, and all the resistors here are given. Okay, so the question asks you that to prove. Uh, now we don't know whether the circuit is balanced or not. Okay, so the question asks us to prove whether the bridge circuit is balanced or not. So if it's not balanced, then find the new resistor R four required to balance the bridge circuit. Okay, so for the first series arm ACB, okay, remember the, the the derivation that we have discussed before. Okay, so you can find that the uh, can use uh, for example this kind of approach. We, we, we calculate the what is the VC, the voltage across at this point here. Okay, using voltage divider, VC basically is VC to, to ground. Let's assume that this is the ground. So VC to ground. All right, this is for VCB. Okay, it's R2 divided by R2 plus R1 multiplied by RS. Okay. So, okay, so basically VC here is VC to B. Since B is to ground, so we can say that it's also VC to ground. Okay, so we plug in the numbers, and then we got VCB is uh, ECB is 60 volt. And then for the second second series arm, we do the same using the same voltage divider rule. Okay, you can find that the what is this voltage here? VD, VD B means VD to ground. Okay, for VD to B, okay, for VD to ground, it's just R4 divided by the total resistance in this branch. So, so you can see that this branch consists of these two resistors, okay, all right, and multiply by the source voltage, which is 100 volt here, okay, and then you get VD equals to 25 volts. So you can see that V, the voltage across C and D, has a certain value, which is not zero. So you can see 60 volt is VC, and VD is 25 volt. So meaning that the bridge is not balanced. So the value of resistor R4 required to balance the bridge is given as okay, you can use the same uh, balance resistor formula. Okay, it's R4 
So R2 divided by R, multiplied by R3 divided by R1. Okay, and you got the 720 ohm. Okay. So we know that the bridge is not balanced, and we know that balance is 730 ohm. Okay. So there's another example here. Um, and alternatively, we can prove whether the Wheatstone bridge is not balanced or not. Okay. So it's by using the same expression here. Okay. So it means that if the bridge is balanced, we know that this equation must be true at all times when this, the, the bridge is balanced. Okay. So as you can see, if you put all the four resistors in this equation, you can see that on the left hand side is 80 by 160, on the right hand side is 120 by 480, and you multiply them together, both numbers are not equal. Okay. If it's balanced, it must be equal. If it's not balanced, then it is not. So you can show that the, this, the, this, the left hand side and the right hand side value are not equal, so the bridge is unbalanced. So we can use the same expression to find the new R4 as before. Lah. Okay. All right. So let's stop for now. Uh, and then uh, we continue on the next part of the topic on sensitivity of wisdom bridge. Okay. I'll see you then.